Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cup, and I am Penge, and welcome to our Christmas Eve special, Ho Ho Home Invasion, which is a stealth game, so think something a bit like Metal Gear Solid. Lots of creeping around and peering around corners, avoiding detection, all that sort of sneaking around stuff, but rather than playing as some sort of elite secret agent, we're actually playing as Santa, as Father Christmas. We're playing as the big man himself, as he does a little bit of stealth training where he needs to deliver presents without getting caught which is just a brilliant, brilliant, wonderful idea. In the description for the game, the developers apparently considered calling the game Santa Gear Solid, which would have quite honestly been utterly, utterly spectacular. But it just looks like all sorts of very silly Christmassy fun, and we can't not play it, to be honest. It just looks great. It's on Steam right now, and as always, there is a link to the Steam Store page in the video description below. And amazingly, it's free, which is always splendid indeed. I mean, you know, free is always the best price. But if you want to support the developers, then you can buy some DLC for the game, which doesn't actually get you anything. It adds nothing to the game at all. It's just a nice way of offering support to the devs if you want to show them some appreciation for this particular game. So without any further ado, let's dive in to some super Santa stealthing. Okay, here we go. So we're at a little sort of training house type thing. And we have to remember that, yeah, this is Santa in training. He's in the North Pole. He's at the training center of the North Pole. I don't know. But, you know, it's not a real house. It's not a proper house where there's actual people. You know, he's training to make sure that when he does go out and deliver those presents on Christmas Eve slash Christmas Day, it's going to go really well. So, yeah, you can see that the walls are supported by like wooden beams and all that kind of stuff. So we're just practicing. And there's a little elf in the corner that is saying, level 1A, you snow the drill. Please tell me, please tell me that this game is full of wonderful Christmas puns like that. Okay, so here we go. Right, there we are. And what have we got to do? We've got to deliver seven presents. Um, okay, so here we are. Oh, right, okay, we're making lots of noise. There's there's Rudolph, or well, sort of a model of Rudolph. Okay, right, so we can see there's a map in the top left. So, okay, right, hang on. So, go do that. How do I... Uh, hang on, hang on. That's always creep, isn't it? Aha, right, yes, that's the same. Right, so we need to deliver a present into there. However, we can see that somebody is coming this way. Somebody is actually heading this way. So we need to shut that door pretty sure. Oh, no, hang on. Just get around the corner. Get around the corner. Shut the door. Shut the door. Santa, shut the door. Shut the door, Santa. Oh, no, we're going to get found out. What? Oh. <laughs> that did not go at all according to plan. Okay, do you know what? Replay the level. Replay the level. Let's see if we can actually do slightly better than that utterly disastrous attempt there. Right, so we're going to crouch. We're going to shut the door, and then we're going to go into here. Okay, so there we go. Oh, hang on. What was that? Q looks around the... Oh, that's splendid. Right, okay, hang on. Can we shut the... I want to shut the door. Yeah, E to close the door. Okay, so here we go. Right, E to place presents. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I see. We're supposed to, we're supposed to do it in the middle, and we do it quieter. Okay, right, I see. Okay, so we've placed down four presents. Okay, so where are... Ah, stockings stockings okay right this room's gonna be okay because i don't think anyone's in here so we can go through here the only thing is how are we going to get past this particular person here who is wandering up and down the corridors because that's not going to help at all right okay do that close oh no close the door close the door and then we need to get into here and then get into here and then we need to be super quiet okay right one present is in that stocking i think that's all we need to do Okay, this person is now still wandering up and down. Yep, yeah, that's fine. So we need to go into the next room to us, which should be okay. I think we might need to go across the corridor first. We might need to go across the corridor first. Quick, 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 quick. Come on, come on, come on, Father Christmas. Come on, come on, you can do this. There we go. Right, hide in here for a bit. Let's just, just wait here. And as soon as they've gone past, pop that door open, close it. They've not noticed us. Pop this door open, close that. Okay, right, we're looking good. Right, now get ready to place the present, and boom, in the green. Okay, all good. And it looks like, looking at our map, the next present needs to be dropped off in that door that's on the other side of the corridor, on our left. That's not a problem. Okay, here we go. Right, close that door. Creep over here. I can see the thing. I can see the thing where we need to put the present. There is the stocking. And one last one. Boom. Is that it? We've placed all seven. Ah, now we need to return to our slate. Of course, because, yeah, we need to actually carry on and go you know, to other people's houses and deliver their presents. So, okay, here we go. We're going to have to take this nice and slow. We're not going to rush this. Okay, okay, hang on. So go back into here, because I don't think we're going to make it along that entire corridor. We're going to have to just bide our time a little bit, because, yeah, we, if we could, I suppose we could have gone to that, the door that's on the other side of the corridor to our right, 
but we might have been caught. We might possibly have been caught. We'll, we'll go slow. It's fine. We'll take it slow. I mean, it's not like we've got to deliver, you know, millions of presents or anything. Oh, wait, no, we have. Right, quick, get a wriggle on. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. There we go. Splendid. Right, okay, so that's that done. Now we just need to, I think, I think if we wait for you to go by and then do that, I think, can we un undo that now? Yeah, okay, right. Let's get around the corner. Let's get around the corner. Open the door, shut the door. And there we go, complete splendid. Okay, I mean, there we go. I think that kind of sums up what the game is. I think that's it. Oh, look at the elves. Oh, they're adorable. Where are their hands? Where are their bodies? They're just like a head with two legs. Okay, wasn't expecting that, but there we go. Uh, okay, do you know what? No, next level. Next level, absolutely. Uh, you're, <laughs> you're slaying it, Santa. Keep it up. Brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Okay, right. What have we got here? So I can see this room here, I think looks okay. Oh, they've got some sort of camera in that room on the left, have they? It looks like there's some sort of camera or was that someone that just woke up or whatever? I think we can go in here. I think we're okay to go in here. Right, so it's like a little entrance hall type thing. But then, then, oh yeah, look, it's a big open room. It's a big open room. We're gonna have to try and time this so we don't get caught by that person there. Can we run? All oh, right, hang on a minute, hang on. Right, let's do that. Right, one of two, that one there placed. Okay, right, we might need, can we hide? Are we allowed to hide behind things? Because you're going to get caught. You need to get behind something, Santa. Quick, 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 quick. Okay, I think we're hidden. I'd like to think that we're able to hide behind this table in a little sort of kitchenette type of area. Okay, that's good. That person's going to poodle that way. That's all fine. Right, they've gone round the corner. It's it's okay. Right, Santa, come on. Let's do this. Right, we'll go into this room at the top first because this room looks okay. So get that done. And there are a couple of stockings over there. So, right, one and two. Okay, right, that's that sorted. So we've done 33%. We're a third of the way there. That person is right outside the door. Stay really quiet. Okay, where is the door to this room? It's a bit further down. That's okay. So now we need to get into here and close that door and then pop a present into there. Boom, into the green. Okay, splendid. Right, so we're, we've done five. We don't have to go back and do that again, do we? No, no, we do not. Okay, right now we need to wait for this person to walk around. That is a massive teddy bear. Oh my goodness me, that teddy bear is utterly enormous. And there's a giant sort of uh, Rubik's Cube type thing as well. Okay, that person is going by. Now are they going to turn round? We need to check what they're going to do. No, right, they've gone round the corner. That's all fine. Hang on, shut the door, shut the door. There we go. Right, creep into this one. Here we go. Into here. I don't think there's anybody in this room. Looks like this room is just a nice, easy room. Just yeah, get some presents placed. Okay, good stuff. And now we need to put five more presents. Where? Where are the other present locations? They must all be in this room that's down the bottom here. The room that looks really difficult to get into. Not to get into, but to survive in. Because, yeah, there's, there's a person in there that I think keeps waking up. It looks like somebody wakes up. Right, hang on, hang on. I imagine we can... Ah, yeah, there we go. Let's hide in here. Okay, so what's going on there? Ah, they're reading a book. They're trying to stay awake for Father Christmas. That's outrageous. Okay. Right, hang on. So they've done that. So now we need to go back. We're going to need to do this in shifts, aren't we? So, one present. Okay, now get, now get quickly, quickly go around the corner. Back here. Okay. They're looking a little bit confused. Okay, hang on. But we still have four more presents to place. Where? Where have I missed somewhere really obvious where we need to place four presents? Okay, let's wait for this. Um, let's wait for this one to look around again. They're just going to look a little bit confused. But yeah, I can't see any more locations. No, they're okay with it now. Okay, that's all good. It's all good. And go back to reading your book. Okay, all right then we'll go here, like so. Do that. Okay, now where are the other? Where are the other present locations? We're going to walk around. We're going to walk around here. We'll try and sort of follow where that one's going. So we'll try and walk around them. Uh, oh, under the tree, of course. Right. Yes, that will make perfect sense, wouldn't it? Right. One there. One there. Another one. Another one. Another one. Okay. Okay. Right. Get around the corner. Get around the corner. Get around the corner. Quick, 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 quick. Okay. Okay. It's all good. It's all good. We're all fine. Splendid stuff. 
Okay, now I want to make sure, because if they turn round and they see us, it's it's all it's all going to go horribly wrong. Right, hang on, hang on, and creepy, and creepy, shut the door. I think that's it. I think we're done. And then we can unsneak and get back over there. Splendid stuff. Okay, there we go. Four minutes, 15. I mean, I think that went quite well. I think that went quite well. We could have cut that down a tiny bit by maybe going to the tree first. But yeah, well, it's fine. It's fine. Let's go to the next level. Let's see what this actually holds. This is a big house. Keep an eye on your minimap so you don't get lost. Where's the pun? Where's the Christmas pun, elf? I'm very, very disappointed. Okay, yeah, that is a big house. That's a huge house. Okay, we've got to deliver 14 presents. Oh my goodness. It does not look like anybody is along this sort of... Oh, that, that didn't go according to plan. Hang on, no, hang on. Shut the door when we've gone by. There we go. There's somebody in there reading a book. And there's somebody here staring at the door. So obviously we can't do anything with that. But there, there's a tree. The tree is there. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, there's a, there's a person. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Shut the door. Okay. There is a person in this corridor. Okay, we're going to have to go along the corridor and then up, I think, by the look of it. Which is fine. There we go. So we'll just creep along. We'll open this door. Ah, there's a locked door. Okay, how do we get through the locked door? Okay, that's intriguing. Door is locked. Yes. Okay. How do we go about sorting that out then? Right, let's play some presents because this will be fine. So one and two. Oh, the bar gets smaller every time. And four. Okay, splendid. So we did that nice and quiet. Now we can go through here. I don't think anybody's coming in this way. So I think we can go into this room. Then we can put a present in a stocking. And that's kind of done this little bit here. It's kind of got that bit sorted. So let's place this present in there. There you go. Merry Christmas. Have a nice time. Right, so... Shut the door. There's a tree in the corridor. Okay, this is this is tricky. Where are they going? Let's watch their route. So they go right up to the tree. Then they go down a little bit. Yeah, that's quite tricky, isn't it? They go down. Ah, they must wander down that corridor for quite some time. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There we go. Point, point the mini-map back that way. Yeah, they go away for quite a long time. So as soon as they go past us... Yes, they're coming back now. So they're going to walk past this room. They're going to get to the end of this corridor and then turn all the way around. We're going to have to sort of follow them and get those things sorted, get the presents sorted at the end of this corridor. So as soon as they go, we will follow them. It's all fine. There we go. Right, shut the door. I don't think they're going to turn around. So we are creeping along. It's all good. Nice and creepy. Then they don't look. Right, good stuff, good stuff. Right, okay, so... We can then put these presents in nice and quick. So boom, and boom, and another one. Quick, quick, quick. Oh, that's only two. It's only two under that tree. Okay, that's good. Right, go in there and go in there. Shut the door. How many have we done? Seven out of 40. We're halfway there. Oh my goodness me. Right, I think we're going to need to go down here somewhere. So as soon as you go by, strange kind of weird robot with a light beam face, we'll go along here. What is down here? There must be another tree or something somewhere. Ah! There's a key. There's a gigantic key on the table. That's probably a that's probably a good thing to go and get our hands on. However, I also think we're going to need to creep into here. Oh, there's a couple of stockings in here. Right, we need to do this super quietly. Because if, if we do it wrong, we'll wake up the other person. Okay, right, so there we go. That's all sorted. So then I think as well there is something down the bottom here. So we'll open that and shut that. Looks like there's something down here, which is okay to so shut that. Yep, yeah, one more down here. So, boom, get that done. Is there anything else in there? No, no key or anything. I thought that might be a key or something useful. Okay, so now we need to wait for that other one to come back, to come back around. And then we need to go into the kitchen. We need to go into the kitchen and pick up the key. Because I think the last four presents are going under the tree that's in that first room that we saw, really, with the um, the person staring at the door. So we need to wait for you to go by. Right, you're coming toward us. That's good. Right, there you go. Hello, strange robot thing. Okay, now we do this. And then, how are we going to get in here, though? Yeah, okay, that's fine. But how do we get into the, how do we get into the kitchen without being spotted? Because oh, that's, that's quite tricky. Right, hang on. We're going to have to go in here. We're going to have to go in here really quick as well. Right, hang on. Boom and boom. Okay. I think there's only one door into the kitchen. 
So we're going to have to avoid the person looking around. We're going to have to time it really well. Okay, right. So there we go. They're not going to look this way. So then we need to make sure this person here, they have a little look around at one point. There we go. Right. So they've given up on whatever they're doing. They're not looking at their book anymore or whatever it is. They're having a little look around. And now we go in because they're, oh no, oh no, that, 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 that could have, that could have been disastrous. Okay. We need to hide behind the table very soon. Okay. We've got that. Can we hide behind? Oh no, we weren't hiding behind the table. Oh bother. I thought the table was going to give us some cover. Um, okay. Okay. Right. Four minutes, 44. Right. We'll go, we'll do that again. We'll do that again and get to that point because I think yeah, other than obviously being seen by the person in the kitchen, I think that went okay. The thing is, how are we supposed to get that? Are they so engrossed in the thing that we can run up to it? Because that's going to be a pretty tricky thing to try and go and do. Unless we hide behind... Ah, maybe we have to go and hide behind the fridge. Yeah, okay, right. There's the plan, there's the plan. Right, okay, let's go and do all that kind of stuff again. But this time, at least we know kind of what we're doing and where we're headed. Okay, I've had a thought. Instead of actually going through and getting all of the things and creeping around for ages, and then obviously coming in here and getting caught again, I think maybe we need to do this first. So let's try and creep in behind you. Then what can we do? Right, so you're there and you're having a look around. So, I mean, do we just run and get it and then run back? Or do we, as soon as you stop looking, do we just go into, right, okay, so creeping, creeping. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time. I don't know if we're gonna have enough time. We've picked up a key. Okay, ah, right, hang on, hang on. We might just be okay. I think we might have been spotted, <laughs> okay. Okay, no, right, okay, that's fine, that's fine. We can do that, we can do this now, right. So, if we go here, we don't need to be quite so quiet right now. Okay, so we can pootle in. You're going to have a little look around for things. There you go. Right, so you're having a look around. We'll then go into crouch mode. Okay, so we're now sneaking about. And you're then going to look away. And then hopefully, there we go. Right, so do that. Now if we run in, grab the key. And then try and come back. No, no, that's not going to work either. Okay. <laughs> How on earth do we get that? Maybe we can just run. Maybe we can just run. Maybe we don't need to creep around because they're so engrossed in the thing that they're looking at, the book they're reading. Maybe we can just sort of run in and grab it and then run back out again. Let's give that a go. Let's give let's give non-stealth a try. Just good old classic, you know, classic running. Let's give that a little try. So you stop looking at stuff. Yay. Right. There you go. Pick up a key and then run back this way. Okay. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. They, they think they've seen us, but it's all fine. It's all fine. Go back into sneak mode. Yes, we now have the key. And that means we can open the door that's right next to us. Okay, so we need to, oh, that was a bit loud. That was a bit loud. We're, get, we're getting a bit, we're getting a bit sloppy here. We're getting a bit sloppy. Come on, come on, Santa, focus, focus. Right, now this door is going to open. So we can open this door. That's all good. Creep through here. There's a person there. They're looking at the door. But if we do this properly, if we do this with all the green sort of things, we should be okay. Yes, okay, right. Shut that one there. And now we know that we sort of know about the rest. We know that we can creep around and do the remaining one. So we should be okay. We should be okay. We will creep. We will maintain stealth because yeah, that's what this is all about. So we'll creep around. And yeah, let's go and just put the other presents down because we know that we can do those ones. We know that that's absolutely fine. So yes, we shall pick up once again when we've placed the last present. And here we go. The last present is now placed in that stocking. So now we just need to get back out. We need to get to the sleigh. So I think we're going to have to wait for the uh, the thing to come down the corridor again because we obviously don't want to walk out of the door and then it just be there and we just stare at it. So we'll have to wait for it to come round and then I think we can follow it up. We can probably follow it all the way up to the sort of bathroom at the top. I think that'll be what we'll do. So it's coming down now. So here it comes, pootling down the corridor. Hello. Right, and then you turn around and then I think that means we can just wander this way. I don't think it looks around at us. It doesn't turn around this way. So I think we should be able to then creep up here. Where is it going? It's going just there. Yeah, we'll be all right. I think we need to run a little bit. There we go. So do a little bit of running back to sort of sneaky stealthing then shut the door behind us, then wait for it to turn round. So it's going to come back round. Yeah, this is all sorted. It's going to go to the tree. Then it's going to go down that corridor. And then I think as soon as it goes by, it doesn't look round, does it? No. Okay, good. So we're there. I think we can just sort of run out. I think we can now just run straight out to heck with the stealth. We're done. We're out of here. Bye-bye now. Oh, hang on. I should possibly shut the door. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, uh, four minutes two, that's probably quite good, I think. But, uh, but yeah, we did have to have a few goes at that one. The getting the key thing was quite tricky. It was quite tricky. But yeah, I mean, it just goes to show that you don't need stealth all the time. Sometimes just running and grabbing something really quickly is absolutely fine as well. Oh, there's two houses. Oh, well, that's just fancy, isn't it? Time to spruce things up. There are two houses here. Watch out for the patroller in between them. So it looks like one of the houses is locked. So we're gonna have to get a key from one house to then go through into the other one. Okay, okay, right, I'm fine with this. Here we go, so let's have a look at what's going on. So there is somebody in here by the look of it, right now. What are they doing, just looking around? Oh, they're, they're one of the people with a book. Okay, right, you guys, are, you guys are a bit annoying. Okay, right, can we just go over here? I don't think there's any other way through. So if we go through here and do that, is there a way through? I don't think there is. I oh, know there is. I oh, know there's a big hole in the wall. I oh, know. I thought that was some sort of bookcase type thing. No. Okay. Right. No. That's fine. So we can go to here. This is all good. Close that door. Present number one. We've only got twelve to deliver this time. So present number one is done. Aha. And there is a key. Okay. So picked up a key. Good stuff. Now we need to head out here. So go through this door. Shut that. Then we need to wait for them to have their little stare about the place which is going to take, yeah, do they look back up again? Yes, they look back up that time. And then we're going to have to get a bit of a wriggle on here. We're going to have to sort of get a move. Hang on, no, no, I've, got, I've gone too slow. I've gone too slow. I needed to I needed to walk on that one. So we'll just wait around the corner. That's fine. That's fine. There we go. So they're looking around again, but that is not too much of a bother for us. So they've stopped. Right, place the presents, place the presents. I know we're being a bit noisy, but one, quickly, two. He's going to see us, he's going to see us. Oh no, did it too long and it makes it slow. I think we just got seen. I think we got seen. I think we got seen. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Go into the other room. Go into the other room. Hide in here for a bit. Hide in here. Are they going to go off standby? That's sort of, you know, stand down even. Go off alert. Yeah, I think they've gone back to normal. Okay, right. Okay, that wasn't the most stealthy of things, but the stuff is there. The presents are under that tree. And now, now we have to go out here. The only thing is, I can't really see where the, um, where the patrolling thing outside is. Does that tree over there, sort of, you know, out into the left a little bit, does that give us any cover? Um, it looks like it does give us the tiniest bit of cover. So we might need to go and stand there and then just see what's going on. Yeah, I think the tree does give us some cover. Okay, right, hang on. We need to we need to run across to the other side. Very sharpish. Okay, right. Get through here and in there and down. Right, okay. What's going on in here? There are a number of people. It looks like everyone's asleep. It looks like everyone's asleep. So we should be okay to just go in and just do all the stocking presents. Okay, what's going to happen here? Because it can't be that straightforward. Something has got to happen to surprise us. Someone's going to wake up or something like that. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, right. So let's get that present into that stocking. There you go. You enjoy. Nice bit of coal for you. I've been watching you, Sonny. Right, okay. So one and two and three and four splendid and then oh no there's someone there there's somebody there but they're just staring at the wall why are they just doing that look at that i didn't notice them and that makes me a bit nervous because now i think they're going to do something and um, this is the last present so all the presents are done we've sorted out all the presents now we just need to get back to the sleigh of course and this is a bit of a problem again i can't see where they are can't see where they are. I think we might be able to just see on the little mini map the edge of their sort of view thing. Yeah, there, right. Run. Run around here. Hide behind the thing. Right. Is this going to be okay? Can we hide behind this properly? Um, hang on. And then run to the door and shut it behind us. Okay. Now crouch because we don't want to attract the attention of the, uh, the book reading person down there. Then creepy through here. Go through this area. Right, and then we'll wait for them to do their next look around. Because I think, I think they will see us. If we go out now, they'll see us. Yeah, because it covers the door. So where they're looking covers the door. So, okay, that's fine. Right, get a move on. Go a little bit quicker. Go a little bit quicker. Go a little bit quicker. And out the door, and out the door, and shut the door, shut the door. Go to the thing, go to the thing. Run quickly. You didn't see anything. It was nothing. It was absolutely nothing. It was a dream. It was a hallucination. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I mean, yeah, stealth was abandoned at points during that, but... That's fine. That's fine. We got the job done. This is it, Santa. You'll need to use everything you've learned so far. Believe in your elf and you'll be ready for the big night in no time. Good luck. I'm glad you brought the puns back. I'm glad the pun is back. Okay, this house looks utterly huge and we've got to deliver 
24 presents. Oh my goodness me. Right, okay, where do we start? Okay, we start here. Right, hang on, hang on. Looking around, there's a locked door just there. Okay, there's a locked door just there. And what's this over here? There is something over here. Oh, that's locked with a different key. Okay, so there's going to be two keys. There's going to be a purple looking key and then a yellow key. Okay, fine. Right, so crouch a little. Oh, oh, hang on a minute. Hang on, there's somebody there already. Oh no, they're on the other side of the tree. They're on the other side of the tree. So I think, I think we have some cover if we stay over here. Okay, right. Ah, and that's where the, um, that's where the yellow key is. Okay, that's fine. Right, hang on. We can go into, oh, okay, right. That's, that's, that's not going to go well, is it? I, I think we might have been rumbled there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right. No, but it's fine. It's fine. Our first little sort of exploratory mission. That was okay. That was okay. So we need to go through here. Crouch. Okay, go there. Ah, right. What's that person doing? Oh, they're sort of scouting. They're doing a route. They're doing a patrol route. That's just outrageous. Okay, fine. Right, so presents are going on to here. Okay, right. Place presents. That one there and that one there. Okay, good stuff. Then we need to go back out, I would say. I think they're going to come in. I think they're going to come in and get us. They're going to come in and see us. So we need to go through quickly. Go back outside. Go back outside. There we go. <laughs> it's all sorted. What do they do normally? Yeah, they come right round. Okay. They come right round this way. Okay. So then we want to wait for that one that's now going by the tree in the middle to go by. Okay. And then we should be able to drop off quite a few presents around the tree. Okay. So one and two and three and four. Okay, now they are right in front of us, but I think the tree actually gives us a bit of cover. Yes, splendid. Okay, so now I think, can we just nip into here quick and shut that? Oh, no, 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 shut the door on myself again. There we go. It doesn't look like there's anybody in here. So this room is nice and safe. We have a nice safe room where we can come and hide if we need to. There's another one, and there's another one. Right, so 10 out of the 24 presents have been dealt with. Where else do we need to go to deliver presents? Oh, no, 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 no. We've been spotted. <laughs> oh, hang on. There was a bit that said press E to eat cookies. Oh, absolutely. We're going to go and do that. Right, let's go get the cookies as well as do the stuff that we just did. Yeah, everyone moves around a lot, don't they? There's a lot of people moving around. There's an awful lot of sort of patrol routes and things going on. Okay, however, this one... Oh, hang on. No, no, we shut the door because that'll make them suspicious. Shut the door. Shut the door, Father Christmas. There we go. Okay, so get into here. We'll do this one. Right, come out of commands. Just run. Run this way. There's no one around, so it's fine. So one and two. And now they don't come through here, do they? They go along the top. They run along the top, I think, I hope. Yeah, okay, right. So if we crouch like this. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, hang on. Just, just crouch. Just be quiet. Just be quiet. Don't be quiet. Run through the door really quickly and run outside <laughs> and then and then just hide around the corner there we go splendid it, it's the finest of all the tactics it's brilliant okay they're looking around where are they gonna go they're gonna go back on the same route no they're gonna go back down okay okay that's fine right so we then go through here then we'll drop the presents off on this one here so one and two and three and four okay so that's that done i think now we need to go and sort this out we need to get this thing here. So, run in, grab the key, grab the key, grab the key. No, we've been spotted again. Oh, uh, <laughs> okay, right. This is fine. It's fine. We know what we're doing. We absolutely know what we're doing. Okay, no, it's good. It's good. We're all good. We're all good. So, let's go into here, go through here. This is going to be fine. So, we're going to do this one first because we know that we can do this without that one in front of us sort of spotting us. It's fine. We've got a bit of cover from the lovely tree. Then we can go into here and we need to do this one. Yeah, this one you can't just sort of stay still. You can't just hide somewhere for ages because everyone's moving around in all the different rooms. So I think now you're going to come round the outside, which is good. So now we want to then run through here because you're then going to come through back through here, I think. Yeah, so we can come round here. So do less, less creeping, more moving quickly. Maybe these rooms might give us a little bit of, little bit of security. Are they going to come into these rooms? If they come into this room, then we're completely stuck. I don't imagine they're going to go into those rooms. Okay, right. We have got some places where we can just have a little bit of a break and hide. Okay. Okay. We need to go into the next room up, deliver another present. Now, what are you going to do? Do you look back down the corridor? 
No. Okay, good stuff. Right, there we go. Go through here. Go that way. And then into there. And then we'll deliver you your present. There we go. Enjoy it. It's lovely. That's just... I don't know what that is. Why have you got that room? Why have you got a weird ensuite with nothing in it? Okay, that's just a bit strange. We've got a weird empty tiled room. <laughs> that seems a bit odd, but okay. Right. I think we might want to go up as well. Maybe we can go up next time. Go through the door at the end of the corridor. It doesn't look like there's anything happening in that room particularly. So we'll head that way. So shut that behind us. Go up here. Is there anything in here that we need to worry about? Ah. There's the blue key. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's far easier to get to than the uh, than the other key. Oh, oh, there's someone there. Hang on, hang on. There's somebody in that bit next door. I don't think they can get in. No, there's not. There's not a door. There's not a door unless they can just walk through the walls. I don't think that's going to be a problem. Okay, so what have we done? Nine out of twenty-four. There is a tree in the next room along, but as we've seen, somebody goes into there. Somebody goes into that room. Oh, I don't like it when they turn it. Okay, it's all good. I think we might need to watch and see what they do in that room next door. I think we might need to keep an eye on them there. Because, yeah, if they're gonna, if we can hide somewhere, if we can hide behind, like, the sofa or something, then that's fine. But I don't think we can. We're okay here, though. We know that just here is absolutely fine. This is, like, a nice, secure place. Oh, I got a bit worried then. I thought we were just going to open the door and just have a little check. But no, it's all good. It's all good. Right, let's watch where they go. Ah, here we go. Is this this one coming into this room? Right, we've got nowhere to hide in that room. It, there's no cover. There's no cover at all. We can't hide behind the sofas or whatever. So we have to get in that room and then just kind of get out again as soon as possible. Okay, right. That's understood. Right, this is going to be... This is going to be tricky. Hopefully the other one is not coming along along the other side because that would be... That would be bad. Well, they are, but we can hide behind the tree. Okay, tree cover deployed. That's very fortunate. They've opened that door. We want to get the other key now. So yeah, we want to do this. They're going downwards. That's fine. So as soon as this one turns its sort of gaze off, stops looking around, we're going to go in. Going to creep in. Grab the key. Go back up. Close the door. And then we're going to run a little bit. We're going to come off sneak. We're going to run around the corner because we've kind of been detected. So we're just going to do that. And we're going to run over here and kind of hide a bit. Here we go. Right. So this is, this lets us use the blue key yeah this is the blue key however however hang on before we just dive in there what's going on because the other one comes down here one of the things does walk down here somewhere so yeah we don't want to just sort of wander into the corridor and then get caught because you know we've got nine out of 24 and we've got both keys so we don't want to make a meal of this now right here we go they're off sort of alert it's all fine hello Hello, weird sort of Segway robot type thingamajig, whatever you are. Okay, there's a tree in here, I think. Oh, yes. Oh, this is excellent. Why has this person got an entire tree in their room? That's all very extravagant, isn't it? Imagine having a Christmas tree in your own bedroom. Wow, that is fancy. Okay, so another couple of presents going in. We're on 12 out of 24. Now, yeah, where do we go now? I think we need to wait. We need to wait for the one that's going to... Ah, it's coming this way. So, what's well, going to come this way. And then we might need to go into that room that's above us. It looks like a, a bathroom, possibly, or a kitchen or something. I don't know. But, yeah, we're going to have to go in there, I think. So, when you turn round, when you do, weird Segway robot with the laser beam kind of light face. There we go. Okay, so, follow you up. Hope that you don't turn and glance back down the corridor, because that would be unfortunate. Ah, we don't need to go in there, but we can go into here. And there is the chance of some cover. Oh, hang on. How are we how are we gonna do that tree? There's somebody there looking at the tree. Um okay. Hadn't kind of expected somebody to be sitting there staring at the tree. Uh I mean, do we just need to stay out of the <laughs> Do we need to stay out of their out of their view? No, 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 no botherations how on earth are we supposed to do that how do we do that do we have to distract them and lure them away oh my goodness me right this last level is going to be very tricky i think okay so we're going for the whatever this is like the front room the drawing room the living room whatever we're going to go for this although i suspect hang on hang on let's get this done let's get this done there we go and four okay right so what are we on 17 out of the 24 presents however we still do have to do the slightly tricky one um, oh no, 
Oh no, where are you going? Where are you? Are you coming this way? Okay, right, hang on. Let's go through here. Close that. Go this way. Quick, 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 because there's somebody there. Right, we've done that one already. We've done that one. So I think now we can have... Oh yeah, eat cookies. What does that do? We just eat some cookies. Okay, good. I like cookies. That's yummy and delicious. Is there a glass of milk as well? There's a teapot, I notice. Hang on a minute. How come we weren't allowed to go and enjoy the teapot? Uh, what if they've made us a cup of tea and we've left that behind? Right, this is the tricky one. Because it looks like there's four presents under there. So that would get us up to 21. And then the other three are okay. The other three are manageable. They're down that corridor there, I believe. So I don't think they're that tricky. So I think... This is going to be the big problem. The other thing is, do we need to make noise to distract them? I suspect maybe we're going to have to. I think because we can't do it otherwise. They're staring right at the tree. They're breaking all the Christmas Eve rules. They are staying awake and also they're looking at the tree. I mean, that's that's just all sorts of wrong. So how are we going to do this? We need to stand up. Okay, so if we just plod about. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, so you're going to come around. You're going to have a look over there. And then you're going to come that way. Right, so then we just go, right, one present, two presents, three presents, and four presents. Okay, then we could go back into crouching. Now, which way are they going to go? Okay, right, hang on, quickly, row, quickly, there we go. Are they going to go back to their regular place? Oh, yes. Super Stealth Santa is absolutely on it. Okay, three presents remaining. However, let's not, let's not get silly now. Let's be calm. Let's be nice and calm. Let's be patient, because, look, if we'd have gone out there, that thing would have seen us. So that's bad. Okay, so now we can creep down here, nice and slow. Yeah, it's this room. I think it's just this room here. And then we have the blue key to then get out. So we can go out of that door that you can see in the bottom left there. Oh, yes. Okay, that, that was a little... Yeah, it took a couple of efforts on this one. That was, a, that was a trickier level. And we did have to distract somebody. But there we go. There we go. Right, again, don't... Let's not ruin it now. Let's wait. Let's just be nice and patient. Wait for the weird Segway robot with possibly rubber glove hands as well. I don't really know what's going on there. And like a pan head, <laughs> like a sort of saucepan head. Um, they can just go by. That's all fine. And then, yeah, we can get out here because we have the blue key. There we go. And then I think we're within our rights to just leg it to the sleigh. And there we go. Splendid. We have completed it. Six minutes three. I mean, that's probably terrible. But you know what? We did it. We completed it. And that's what matters. Now, what happens if we put continue? Because I don't think I get the impression that that's not. Yeah, that's it. That's kind of it. There's no more sort of levels. Well, there we go. So, yeah, we've completed them all. It's all good. Some of them we probably could go and improve on. I bet there's some which we could have done in a slightly more efficient way. But, uh, but yeah, there we go. There we go. That was a lot of fun. Well, I think now Father Christmas is ready. He is absolutely ready to go out and deliver those presents. He has passed his training. You know, he's brushed upon his skills because he only does this once a year. I mean, OK, when it happens, he does it an awful lot of times. He does it millions of times using his sort of magical powers and what have you. But yes, he only does it once a year. So it's probably a good idea to have these little these little sort of refresher courses every so often, just in case, just in case there are those naughty few people who are staying awake in case there's a few people that are staying awake trying to catch a sight of the big man so of course yes tonight don't do that of course do not do that you make sure everyone goes to bed on time and it's all wonderful and all splendid because otherwise you might not get any presents and that would be that would be very bad indeed so there we go we've given santa his training and that was a lot of fun that was a lot of fun. I like that. That was suitably silly. It was suitably enjoyable. And yeah, do you know what? It was actually quite challenging. It was quite a balanced sort of thing. You know, some of the levels were tricky. The intro level was nice and straightforward. And then, yeah, that last level required a little bit of a little bit of intentional kind of noise making to distract that person from looking at the tree which actually is quite clever. So there we go. But yeah, I'm glad we got through it all. I'm glad we got through. Maybe some of our times are quite terrible compared to, you know, the global times, the times that the other people have played, you know, the rest of the world times. But it does not matter. It does not matter. We've done the training and Santa, Father Christmas, the big man himself, is ready to go out on his sleigh with the reindeer and deliver lots of presents in absolute secrecy, which is all sorts of marvellous. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard for our Christmas Eve special. And of course, do not forget to put out the cookies and the mince pie and the milk or maybe even a cup of tea and of course carrots for the reindeers and I will see you next time. I really hope I don't have to send children down into coal mines or whatever because I would feel like a terrible person. Hello robot and I shall call you Alan. Still some homeless people, still hungry people, still sick people. Okay if you try and reach London you will end up frosty and dead. 
great big human lollipop. 